everybody. So today I thought it'd be fun to do a special video. We just had the release of Piece by Piece, which is a documentary about Pharrell Williams done through Lego animation, style animation, which was really interesting. And I heard some people say that they had never seen an animated documentary before. I thought it'd be interesting to talk about some of the other animated documentaries. And, uh, and there's actually more than you'd think. I think what makes piece by piece unique is that it really doesn't need to be in Lego animation at all. And and I think that really it's the biggest selling point for the film because I found the interviewing to not be that great, to be kind of dry into all the mechanics of minutia of making an album and uh, record sales and, and uh, hit songs and Pharrell. If you're not into that whole process, then you're probably going to find it kind of boring. Uh, but at least this animation was something to look at and something kind of interesting as opposed to just watching them talk. Uh, at least this had something to kind of go for it. Uh, but it, it really didn't need to be. There was no purpose for that I could see at least behind the Lego animation. It was just to be different, which I appreciate, I guess. Uh, but there are some actual purposes to some films being an animated documentary. You have documentaries where they want to hide the identity of the main person being profiled. And a great way to do that is through animation. So you don't have to deal with pictures and uh, other things being leaked. And uh, that's what they did with the movie Flea. This movie Flea was nominated for Best International Film and it was nominated for Best Documentary and Best Animation. It got three Oscar nominations that year. It's a wonderful film. And the reason why the lead guy wanted to keep his identity secret was because he is Afghani and he's he is a, a immigrant uh, from in Denmark and he is a gay man and that's all the things we talk about and uh, he wanted to keep his identity secret and so how can you tell his story without revealing any pictures or anything like that and uh, what a better way to do it than with animation and this is very simple animation it's 2d it's sketch animation but uh, it works for the, the needs of the story and really immerse you. And uh, when he, at, at the end, you think that his family is going to reject him but uh, because of his sexuality, but they don't reject him and they go to the club with him. And that was so moving. So I highly recommend if you haven't seen Flea, I think it's, it's really wonderful. Another reason to have animation is when we just don't have pictures of an event or not very many pictures. And so you can recreate what is happening using animation and it can immerse you in the moment. And uh, that's what they did with the movie Tower. This is an animated documentary about the events that happened when there was a sniper shooter in 1966 at the University of Texas. And uh, they are able to take first town accounts and interviews and, uh, and then recreate the different situations with animation and it is such a great movie it is so compelling it is so tense and uh, it really gets you into the head of these different people and what they were going through and the panic of not knowing if you were going to be shot at at any moment and uh, there's like a john mcclane s type character who storms the tower and amazing people that get profiled and uh, are, are really great and you know some of those people had they had vintage interviews some of them had new interviews and uh, so they were able to take us back to that moment in time uh, using the and using animation another really famous movie that uses animation is waltz with bashir and this is by ari fullman and it, it chronicles his experiences in the lebanon war in 1982 and he uses a really really unique style of animation it kind of looks like rotoscoping but it's actually not he created it, I guess, using the computer, but it has a 2D kind of sketch 
sketchy look about it and it uses really bright colors you'll get like yellows and really strong colors i guess the animator ari fullman invented like a whole new way to animate using adobe flash in order to create this unique visual style with the strong black sketches and then the bright bright colors to the to the animation there's only one live action shot at the end and uh, it's a moving story about a soldier and his trauma in war so if you haven't seen waltz with a share it's 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 really unique another example of animation being able to help us to tell a story is in the walking with dinosaurs films obviously dinosaurs don't exist so what do we need to do in order to tell their story we have to create it using animation. So that's really effective. Uh, I did not include in this video memoirs or based on true story and narratives because I, I don't really think it was documentaries, but Persepolis, uh, Little Nicholas, The Wind Rises, all of those are based on true stories to varying degrees. Hunan, that one's really good. So there's lots of good animated films based on true stories. So as far as an actual documentary, Here's some, I actually haven't seen these, but they sounded intriguing to me. We have, they shot The Piano Player. We have Another Day of Life, Aurora's Sunrise. I think I actually have seen that one. Uh, Camp Confidential, Pelican Blue. And that just came out last year. So I'll definitely have to check that out. It sounds pretty funny and 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 good. We also have in documentaries, Often they'll use animation as a piece to telling the story, especially if they don't have photos. And a great example of that was actually this year with the documentary Frida. And this is telling about Frida Kahlo. We only have one tiny little, uh, we only have one tiny video clip of her and the rest are just the same photos. And you don't want to just have the same photos over and over again. But what they did with this movie is they basically recreated her work as animated segments and then so it was a way to dive into her life but also dive into her work so that was really creative uh, another one that i thought of is life animated about this young man with autism that loves disney animated films and his connection particularly with uh particularly with aladdin and uh with um iago and uh, and he gets to meet gilbert godfrey at one point and uh, so that's very sweet. There's tons of documentaries that have animated segments to kind of help tell the story going along. Of course, there's lots of great documentaries about animation that, of course, then have animation as part of the documentaries. You have the Pixar story. You have Waking Sleeping Beauty. You have Clay Dream about Will Vinton. You have The Kingdom of Dreams and Madness about Miyazaki and Studio Ghibli. Uh, you have Who Are You, Charlie Brown, which is all about Charles Schultz. So there's that. You have I Know That Voice, which is all about the voice actors for uh, for animation. So that that's really good. There's a bunch of documentaries about animation and animated films. And definitely worth checking those out for any animation fans. Uh, so that's some of the ones that I thought of in doing my little research. The big ones are Tower, Flea, and Waltz with Bashir, I think are the, the, the most sort of iconic animated documentaries. So you definitely want to check those out. So let me know what you think about this category and maybe some that I missed that I didn't talk about. Some of your favorites I would love to hear in the comments section and uh, let me know if you'd like me to do other videos like this about animation i would love to hear your suggestions and please like this video please subscribe to the channel i'd really appreciate it and check out the patron group that's the biggest way you can support everything i'm doing and you get pretty good benefits i think and we also have the merch store your hashtag animation junkie shirts check that out and uh, thanks so much everybody we'll talk to you later